Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, T70, for you guys, a 407 video. I'm here with DFI Duos, and we're going to get sideways on Long Beach. I have my Pontiac Forza Edition, Forza Edition Firebird. Recently picked it up because they started selling them in the, uh, the uh, auto store. So I'm going to get it sideways on Long Beach. I'm going to test it with my controller first, then get it on wheel and just slowly do tweaks and make a drift car out of it. Yeah, I'm ready to go. My only, my only comment is that thing thick. <laughs> oh yeah. But look at my, look at my guy. A wide, a wide body Firebird. This was something that I wasn't aware of until maybe about a week ago. So I was like, uh, yeah, I want that. I want a wide body Firebird. Hell yeah. So, I painted it the usual T70, you know, looking. Put it that way. This is like my standard paint, okay? If I'm gonna have a Pontiac Firebird or any Pontiac in general, it's gonna be cream with a black hood and just looking, you know, clean. You know, not, not, not too crazy. Kind of, kind of. It's kind of looks like it's been sitting in the garage forever, and but the but the engine, the car still runs very well. You know, just kind of like, kind of like sage looking. Yeah, put it that way. If I'm giving it the right turn or not, but anyway, hit the wall right out the back. If you guys don't know. Uh, this track was the first track me and him ever technically made a video on, right. basically. Right. Oh, looks like this is gonna need a bit of work. Let's see. Hey, just give me a little bit. I just literally just um, I just uh, I was I, I had it in a racing setup basically because I wanted to make this a race car. So uh, just give me a little bit, I'll have the works down for a drift car. So I've got an angle kit on it, all the above. So I'm just going to do, just going to sit here for a second and drop a few things here. Here, I'm going to turn up my volumes as well because my audio is low. Okay, my headset. Get there. I, know, I hope you guys can hear DFI as well. There we go. <laughs> Fix that. I think I adjusted the master volume a little more. Except, if not, then I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to adjust that later. The thing is, we're driving on this track after after the Long Beach happened. Right. Yeah, but I've been having a crave to do this for a little bit. Um, so and yeah, because I guess because of Formula D, put it that way. <laughs> So I'm gonna set my diff to 100. I'm gonna set my diff to 100. I'm going to uh, put my deceleration to zero. And DFI, what was the tire pressures? What what should I do for tire pressures again? Is it a little higher than the front than it is in the uh, back? 42, 42 psi, something like that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Keep it. Like, so the rear is gonna be low. Yeah. Lower than the front. Right. But the front ha tire pressure has to be kind of similar to like what the rear is. Okay, so I'll just keep it around maybe 35, 35 psi. Keep it like that. Alright, um, doing some basic tuning here. I find it's a little hot, a little, I want a little bit of body roll to it, so I'm gonna lift the suspension a little bit. Okay, I don't know if it's, it should be around even. Ah, uh, see, that's put it right there. Okay. Okay. Now, I know most people are not aware of this, but door to door doesn't exist no more. Yeah. Are you uh, you part of a new crew now? Or are you trying to find a new crew? What's the uh, what's the update on that? It says it, it. It says my team new. <coughs> it says my new team name on the side. Right. Team fine team. Okay, so this is feeling a lot better now. Set the differential to one hundred percent. Oops, stalled it. It's all good. Oh, hit the wall a little bit. I do apologize for the lack of uh, Forza driving slash driving game content. There will be. Lots of content coming. I seem to be posting a lot about Star Wars and Siege and what have you, but, uh, uh, you know, it's just 
it's been it's been uh, it's been crazy the last uh, last two months have been a little crazy so uh, I, I haven't been doing much Forza stuff but that's gonna change I'm gonna get right back on track uh, very soon and I will be live streaming shortly after this in maybe a few hours and I'll be doing uh, FR Legends I recently picked up Daytona USA and I gotta do a video on that it's backwards compatible on Xbox One so yeah, and uh, Sega. I'll try to follow you on this if I don't uh, crash into. Sega just recently dropped uh, Afterburner on their App Store, so they're bringing. They brought back the cabinet Afterburner Jet Fighter game, arcade game. So we'll be also doing a video on that. So plenty of content coming. Oh, wall tap. It's all good. So I'm on controller right now, just to kind of get warmed up a little bit. Not really, but just to kind of get the feel of what I'm trying to get the drift tune for. I usually tune on controller first, and then I get on the wheel and try it on the wheel and see what it needs after that. So, it's, so it feels like it's a bit of both. I have manual only right now because if I were to switch on the wheel, I'd be only be using manual. But otherwise, if I'm just using 100% controller, it'd be manual with clutch, so I can clutch kick. I think I might need a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more, or my tires are too grippy. I just slammed into the wall. One of the two. I'm finding that this is gripping right now. It does slide, though. It just feels more like a grip car than it does anything else. Oh, God. Ooh, I did the same thing you did. The exact same thing you did. I'm gonna just back out of, out of the section here. Yeah. There we go. I do have sport uh, tires just on. Just a little tip. Uh, yep, go on. Just a little tip. And around... Uh, Either the 200 marker or at the start of the Toyota uh, signs. Right. For entry point. Yeah, I'm gonna so go, go from the outside and then to the inner side. For entry points. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to go back to the pits. I'm gonna add a little bit more horsepower. I do have sports tires on this, so it does feel like it is catching some grip. Um, it doesn't seem to want to slide as much as I want it to right now. It's not sliding the way I want it to. I should rephrase that. Um, yeah, it's not sliding the way I want it to. So I'm going to add a bit more horsepower to it. Uh, I'm going to max the carb. Well, carburetor's already. No, oh, no, it's good. Carb is on. Um, okay. Maybe, okay, so I'm gonna put the valves. There we go. Okay, let's try a little bit of this. Just a bit of a small buff. Should be enough to wheel spin it a bit more. I feel like it seems to catch too much grip. Okay, that, that got better. That, that definitely got better. Sometimes more horsepower, more torque is definitely the answer. In this case, in this case it is not too much. I don't really drift like really fast cars, and I'll take actually I'll take that back because I did I did drift the RTR Mustang though. I did that thing's that thing's mad. <laughs> I did drift the RTR Mustang. Did yeah, you release that video yet? Yep, that video is up. Yep, the RTR Mustang is up. Okay, I was gonna say because if you didn't. Want to Upload it, yeah. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Yes, I did upload the RTR Mustang video. Ah. Uh. Let me give this another try here. So I'm still just slowly tweaking it, trying to find that sweet spot where it feels just right for me. Oh, this is so far, adding definitely adding a little bit more horsepower definitely worked. 
I was holding it steady more now. A lot smoother. Not gripping as much. Ooh, like that. Okay, I'm gonna try with the wheel now. I'm gonna try with the wheel. So hopefully my wheel's active. No, my wheel might be inactive. Hold on. I might have to plug in my wheel again. I recently moved my Xbox. Uh, I have a tendency to do that. Usually I have, I'll play in the living room or something or whatever for a casual day. I'll like do an arcade stuff. I just usually move through the room. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to shut the controller off. I hope we don't get copyrighted for that. <laughs> Okay, hello? Hi? Alright, hello. Hi, okay, yeah, if you meant I overheard you saying, hope you don't get copyright for that, I will definitely edit it up if it's an issue, don't worry. Okay, so I'm on the wheel now. Got my fire bird. This is feeling good. I have to work on the brakes a little bit. Hang on, just give me, just give me, give me a few minutes here to get warmed up with the Firebird. I'm over here just doing donuts here. Not bad, not bad. The handbrake feels, it still feels like it needs a bit more horsepower. Maybe a bit of gearing, maybe a gearing over. Get a little spin. Or I should probably increase tire pressure in the back a little bit. It's a little bit. So I can get a little more Hey, Coop, I need that. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is kind of casual the video. I mean, do you find getting sideways? Ooh, got close to the wall, and that looks like I was just understeering. Oh, there goes crazy. My I was mad understeer. You want that? Put the second gear. Hold well, on, I'm gonna go to the pits. I got it. I got you can it. go back to the second. My uh, tail lights completely gone. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I feel like it could have been a little smoother, but. Not bad. So, so far, I believe I have three drifting Pontiacs in my collection. I have a. I have another Firebird, so I have the, the 98 Firebird. As my drift car and a Pontiac Solstice, which deified, painted, and tuned as well. And this is now this is just my own personal build. This one here, this car, my own personal build and paint. So kind of like a contrast of, of the rest of the Firebirds I have, or the rest of the Pontiacs I have so far. They need to bring this into Forza Horizon 4. I I, I need this in Forza Horizon 4. <laughs> This was my main car in Forza Horizon 3. It was the first thing that I bought. I said I wanted a Pontiac to be my favorite car in Forza. It is my favorite brand, yes. I want it to, to be my favorite car in Forza. So I just picked the Firebird. The Firebird I felt was probably, the, this Firebird in particular, I felt was probably the, uh, the best performance spec that I could think of and to tune up to, to uh, you know, to be worthy anyway. 77 Firebird's great as well. No, 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 uh, no doubt about that either. No Firebird is bad. I just like, I wanted something from the 80s, so I picked this. It's the closest thing I can do. Into that, uh, so weird without this, uh, wing. Oh, yeah, no, it does. I'm into that retro wave, 80s synth wave stuff. If you guys heard of that. In the music stream, it's uh, it's got a following. Whoa, okay, that was really hard on the handbrake, but it's okay. It worked out. It worked out for me fine. Wall tap. DFI is getting some doors. Yep. I think it was a couple of days ago. Uh, we were in a hopper lobby. We were getting some mad doors, eh? But I got that recorded on mixer. Right? Yeah, that was some mad doors. Here we go. Wall tap. Oh, and I'm spinning out. No, I'm good. Oh, what? I thought you were going to hit the wall 
Yeah, well, I recovered just in time for that one. That was a lucky, lucky one for me. Yeah, this still feels like it might be good on your own power. I'll try to trail behind you there. I won't be as fast as you, but uh, I'll do my best. And break. No, I see it. I'm just like an understeer. Yeah, that was, that was understeer. I seem to be understeering that first turn for some reason. It could be just because I'm not getting enough wheel spin on the start. Or I'm initiating it wrong. I don't know. All the two. Go a little crazy on the wheel. All tap. Just a, just a tap. Here. If you guys hear that fucking music in the back, don't mind it. Uh, it should have been copyrighted. Um, I will definitely try to um, filter that when I get to the editing process. But, uh, don't worry about it. But if it doesn't pop up on the mic, then I won't bother. Or it doesn't pop up on the recording. Yeah, that was pretty good, getting close to that wall though. Getting close to that... Uh, Oh, I tried to be fancy there. Just the tap. I tried to drift right, like in, on the right Oops. beside you there, but fit right in that spot. Didn't work. Okay, here we go. Come up. Oh no! Right in the tire rack. I was giving it way too much. Deal when you're coming. Deal when you're coming down the straight. You right. don't want to be sliding and mangeing that. No? Okay. You want to try to have the most grip as you can until until uh, this 200 marker here. Right. It may be a force. It might be a force of habit on my half because I have a tendency to manji before before a turn. Sometimes if I find if I can't get it if I can't get it sideways enough, I will try to manji it beforehand. So it gets me ready to get to, to flick it. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like the way I just. Do. Yeah. Oh my God! Breaks on. It's kind of like. On this car. Kind of like the way I just drift into how the way I initiate the turns when I'm drifting, anyway. But uh, let's try, let's give it a try again. Or I just keep it straight and try to initiate right there. Yep. And understeer. See, I gotta fix that. No, I hit the tire rack. Oh, I'm going to switch cars real quick. Yeah. So I can keep up with you. Right. Oh, that was a pretty rough run, I won't lie. Um, i trying to get this to f tuned up. This might, take, uh, this might take a few hours or so. I have to spend like some time doing this. I usually take my time with this when I'm making tunes. On drift cars, especially, especially nowadays on Forza, they've changed, they've changed the wheel settings, and, and you know it changes a lot of the way the game feels in a good way, of course. Just makes makes just more characteristics to me to be aware of when I'm tuning the car as well. Okay, this is not that bad. It's looking pretty okay. I might have. Yep. This one should be able to go. I kind of just did my own little uh, run. Considering. How much was you got on that thing? I think it's like 425, 427. Or maybe a little higher so I buffed it. I'm running 415 in this car. Okay, so Deified is back. And he's brought a more horsepower matching car to my Firebird. So around 400 to 500 something. So we're going to give this another run again. So here we go. And another tweak to the Firebird. So you're telling me again, I have to just try to keep as grip as possible when I'm initiating in this. Oh. Yo. Oh. <laughs> you hit the brake a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay, so everybody definitely, whatever I did to it, definitely fixed it. 
I'm not giving oh. you a space there. So I'm bad. Two outside there. Ooh. That was okay. We're on my door, so that, that's all that matters, right? We're on my door. I was technically basically about to go through your car, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, so I'm going to initiate on this one. I'm initiating on first gear on that first turn. Is that a bad thing? Just, just I'm, I'm just asking you because I'm initiating on first on that. On that. I'm initiating the third. Third on that? I'm okay, so. Third. Yeah, so my gears, my my. I'm uh, second gear. Yeah, my 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 power my power might be a little bit different, so my torque might be a little bit different. So it's probably why I'm running on first. I'm just going in there a little too quick, so I bring it down. I go in there third, second, and I just drop the first, and then pull the handbrake. So, but yeah, no. I can, I can, so I, have to, I have to mess around with the uh, just gears. quickly follow me for a quick second. Right. When you're coming in, you want to stick right. You want your uh, left side of the car to be as close to this red line as possible. Right. As you see to the left of me. Right. And then when you go to initiate, when you flick it in, your rear end should get close to this wall. And I'm pretty sure your camera is supposed to clip through the uh, fencing for a split second. Yeah. Your car is going to carry out to here, and then it's going to slowly come into the inner side here. Oh, I can't just finish can it. Hit the wall, tap the wall. So go, so finish it out. This one and then go. Finish it out wide, so finish it out wide from, from where I see. Okay. Give that a shot. I'm gonna the yep. on that one. See, now I keep sometimes I'm throwing reverse on this to kind of get the turn a little bit, but uh, yeah. Oh god. Oof. Just broke in the door there. Got any in the door after that? <laughs> For sure. Yep. That's why. Why I might be again. I might be initiating this round. So. That's all. I just follow me for this uh, first one here. See what I do there. It's all work in progress, right, guys? It's all work in progress. I'm. Uh, I can't say I'm no pro drifter at this. I'm not. Um, I can drift, yes, and I've done some pretty good angles at times. But um, you know, in terms of being smooth and being more practical, uh, that's that's the part that I still need. I'm still learning how to do uh, do that aspect as well. So. Go on, do you fight? He's being taught that. Yeah. I see what you're doing there. I'll try to follow that. And I'll tap, maybe tap the wall a little bit. See, I understood a little bit. Maybe I felt like, that was okay. It looked okay, but I wasn't getting enough angle there. It was just gripping. My car was gripping quite a bit. But uh, I was getting sideways. I was skidding, more or less. But I did see what you pulled off there. I did reverse it. I might need a little bit of horsepower. This might this might take a few hours to, to, to tune out and uh, make it to tune up. Oh, make whoops! It, I wasn't paying attention. Make it to make a to make a, a perfect drift car out of this. Well, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoy this video of me drifting Long Beach here. You know, from the drift, from the D style. You know, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like it, add to your favorites, subscribe, leave a comment. Making some more YouTube videos very soon. Take care, guys.